everyone, today we're going to do an intermediate five minute core routine. So the first one we're going to do is a glute bridge with your feet raised up on a couch or a chair or a bench or a foam roller or a ball, whatever you have that works for you. We're just really gonna start engaging those glutes. Then we'll transition to single leg where you are holding the position in the high uh, part and then you're going to alternate legs so you're engaging one glute at a time to hold your body up there in that tall position really strong this is one of my favorite exercises so we're just diving right in and getting started from the beginning with some good work all right the next one we're going to do is stay on your back uh, we're going to do an ab set and you need to keep your back on the ground, your core engaged, and then you're just going to tap one toe down at a time while nothing else moves in your body. So you want to make sure that everything else is really tight and engaged and then you're just having that one leg that's moving at a time. Nice work. All right, flip over to your hands and knees. We're going to do a bird dog here. So you're all alternating um, one arm, one leg at a time. And you can keep that leg really close to the ground or you can even drag it along the ground so that you are maintaining a really stable position and there's not a lot of hip movement or torso twisting at all. So do what feels right here and what feels comfortable um, whenever you're doing this exercise because we're kind of starting to create some, some instability by raising the arm as well as the leg. Great. All right, back on your back and we're going to do a dead bug here and again it's opposite arm opposite leg and the further you take your leg away from your body the hardest the harder it is so you can go straight up in the air like i'm doing right now you can do little movements out or you can go all the way in full extension like this so again, keeping that back against the floor and the core engaged, only moving what is supposed to be moving at that time. Back on our hands and knees, we're gonna go down into a plank position and we're gonna rock back and forth, back and forth. And we're just creating a little bit of instability, making sure that everything's staying really strong, tight, engaged. You can, of course, do that on your knees if you feel like you're not quite ready for the full plank at that time. All right, the next one we're going to do is just a plank uh, at the top here. So you're going to do a full tall plank and we're doing a static hold. So you're just holding this tall plank position. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna transition to a side plank. You can do this on your knees. You can raise your arms up, and I'm just gonna do a little hip dip here. Again, we're just kind of increasing the difficulty from a normal side plank where you're just holding and adding in a little bit of that movement. I typically have one side that's stronger than the other. You probably do too. You can always tell in these side planks, they never lie, but that's why it's so important to strengthen both sides and to realize that single leg exercises and uh, single side exercises are so key to help even out those imbalances. So back up to the full plank, and I'm just doing a small raise. So I'm shifting my weight from one arm to the other arm, one arm to the other arm, there you go. And again, this is that anti-rotation. So you're trying not to let your hips and whole body kind of shift and jiggle. So you want to keep everything really strong. Good work. All right, back on our back. And we're going to do a V-sit here where we're just going to hold a V position with a strong 
engaged core, a straight back. That's it. Nice work, everyone. You can do this over again if you want a, even more of a challenge. Thanks for joining in.